together and today I'm going to show you how to make a very easy and quick eggplant pizza. Um, one eggplant about medium size is only about 160 calories so and it feeds about two people so do the math that's like nothing. So I'm going to show you the ingredients we're going to use. I'm going to make it vegetarian today but you could always add meat if you need to. Um, for, I'm using organic tomato basil pasta sauce and this particular one has no cane sugar in it. A lot of pasta sauces tend to have cane syrup, cane sugar or um, high fructose corn syrup. So We're also going to use Greek pepperoncini, pepperoncini, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> however you say that. We're going to use those. These are a little bit spicy so you don't have to use them, I just like them. Um, we're going to use onions and pepper mix from Whole Foods. You could buy the whole pepper and onions and cut it yourself but this is much easier. So. <laughs> Remember, we're trying to make it quick, so get things that make your life easier. And then we're also going to use nutritional yeast instead of cheese. Um, nutritional yeast um, has a cheddar flavor. Uh, if you follow our us on Facebook, you see that I use that a lot um, because Ray and I don't particularly use dairy a lot. So you could always use cheese if you are not on the 30 days or if you handle cheese well. So, and of course, an eggplant. So. First thing, I coated a pan with a little bit of olive oil. It only takes like a little bit, like a teaspoon or less than that. I've also preheated the oven to 350 degrees and I'm just going to slice this up. I slice it about half an inch, half an inch thick. You don't want to make it too thick because then it takes a little longer to cook and you don't want to make it too thin because then they fall apart and they don't hold the sauce very well. And don't mind my uh, masterful knife skills. <laughs> okay, so just gonna throw, we obviously need another pan, but for video purposes, we'll save that for later. Okay, I'm just gonna spoon some spaghetti sauce onto the eggplant. Okay, just um, you can use any spaghetti sauce that you like. I'm using tomato basil. Um, I know there's like a marinara, there's a garlic and herb. Um, there's probably also ones with cheese in it. But just be mindful of the ingredients. Preferably look for an organic one because tomatoes have a lot of pesticides on them. So, okay, put that on there, then we're just going to spoon some of this on there, and you can put whatever type of toppings you like. Like I said, I'm making this one vegetarian, so peppers and onions are a good way to make it a little bit more hearty, but you can also put chicken, um, beef, you can put, I don't know what other toppings are there, but pizza, <laughs> whatever pizza topping floats your boat. You can put um, fresh basil. Usually I do that. Once again, I forgot to buy the herb that I was supposed to buy for my dish, but it's okay. Okay. Ah, that's a lot. Okay, now we're putting the other peppers on there. You can put olives. That's another one. Then lastly, you put the nutritional yeast after it's cooked. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, and then we'll see it when it comes out. Okay, the eggplant is completely cooked. I ended up leaving it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Um, and as you can see, I took a bite of some to make sure it was cooked. But um, you don't want it too soft because then they fall apart. You'll be able to tell if you've ever had the eggplant before. It just be it should be easy enough to cut through. So now I'm just going to cut through with a butter knife, not a regular knife. I'm just gonna put nutritional yeast on top. Remember, this is optional, you don't have to. But if you haven't tried nutritional yeast, it's not gonna kill you to try something once, just like we tell our kids, you know, just try it before you say no to it. So, and that is it. I'm not gonna touch this because it's very hot, but <laughs> it's all done.